Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my Viking single back doubles north. Uh, like I said in the first video, uh, hit the like button, I would put more out from this particular formation. This is definitely one of my favorite formations. I'm going to show you guys some explosive passing plays to go along with the explosive running plays that I showed in the first part of the video. So, uh, I mean, without a doubt, if you guys want to see more Vikings, let me know in the comment section. But this is going to be it for this particular formation. And I'm going to start off, I mean, there's so many good plays in this formation. My favorite's probably going to be the wide receiver corner so we're going to start off with that so this is something that you can run a multitude of ways that's one of the reasons this is one of my favorite plays there's very coverage specific one play touchdowns that you can run if you, and i'll show that in a minute but you can also run your entire offense out of a formation like this the first thing and the easiest thing you can do is just put the y route here on a flat I'm sorry, on an out route. If you put him on an out route, block the running back on every play because I don't want any extra pressure. But if you put that receiver on an out route, you basically have a bench switch on the left side, which is a super easy read. I mean, you're just reading high-low. I could have went either way. That was actually an all-out man blitz. I could have went to the big route up top, the, cor or the, the post route or the corner route, and it would have worked out all the same and been a big play. But like I said, I mean, this is just an easy read. Once again, it looks like they were setting the house again. Uh, you can make that, you know, real easy check down. And pretty much both of these routes will get open. Like, it really doesn't matter. Like, right here, this is a cover three, but as long as I make that throw properly, if I pass lead that and I rack and I safe catch that, you can make that throw against just about any defense. That, that corner route is going to be OP. And you can see right here, I mean, that's supposed to be covered. You know what I mean? But if you have a good enough receiver and you have good enough user skills, you can pretty much always get that. So that's something that this is, you know, one of the easier ways to run this. Uh, but like I said, the check down, the out route check down is also really good. You can see right there, that coverage is a little bit tight. But you can see, I mean, there's there's definitely opportunities uh, no matter what the defense is. Another thing you can do is put the Y route on a flat. If you do that, this is going to work best in a catch and run scenario, any off coverage. This looks like it's a cover two, so it's not really going to work here. But if it's a cover three or a... Uh, a cover four where it's a, where the cornerback drops back um it's going to be open it's going to be wide open in the flat so in a scenario like this even though it's, the y route's not going to work because i pre-diagnosed cover two the x route's going to work so it doesn't really matter like i said right here you can see i mean the, the x route's really having trouble getting off of that uh but ultimately he does get open as he was getting jammed to hell uh to get to that break uh but you can see how that'll have its uh how, have its um its benefit too so here we go one more time like i said looking like another cover two on the side that i want uh, if I were to flip that play, it looks like this is a uh, augmented look. Um, you can see we get the cover two look to flip with it, so it doesn't really matter. But like I said, cover two, we're going to hit that B route one more time. Looks like we might have a man coverage that time. I'm not really sure. But ultimately, you can see, I mean, it's going to be one of the two is going to get open just about every time. So it makes this play super easy. Now, if we have what looks like a cover three here, this is where I would get into that specific coverage uh, touchdown look that I was talking about, where basically I want to put the Y route on a streak, put the A route on a streak, motion out uh, the, uh, the the X-Factor receiver feeling here, and this is basically going to give me a nice, easy uh, release right up the seam where the Y route can really make some big plays as long as he can get over the top there. And you can see right there, definitely my, my slowest receiver on the field actually was a tight end. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's a tight end, Smith Jr. <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure you have a faster receiver there, but you can see how he gets gone even with that uh, with that look. I'll probably back out and I'll go over that in a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll pick a specific cover three, make sure I have the right personnel out here. So the next thing that you can do, if you really wanted to create that catch and run look that I was trying to do with the Y route, you can have that uh, with the same motion that I used from the previous uh, video. Uh, well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the Y route on a streak Put the B route on a flat, although I have to wait till he's coming across. Put him on a flat route, and then you're going to see how if I motion snap him, he'll get a lot of catch and, catch and run space. As you can see right here, basically just into the flats. Didn't do a very good job of breaking any uh, any angles, uh, but you can see how you know that's something that you can do as well. And that's one of my favorite things to do, which is something I kind of showed in the last video as well. Uh, where I was doing pretty much the exact same effect. So like I said, I'll do it one more time. Just snap him once he gets behind there. If he's covered, like I said, that's a cover two. It's going to take that away. I mean, he was wide open. He might got a horrible throw. You can see how wide open the receiver was. So that's something to, to think about. So if it's a cover two, this 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 route here will get covered, uh, but it won't really matter. So here we have a man coverage. It won't work in a man coverage, but that's fine because once again, this, uh, this corner route uh, will work in a man coverage. So you can see, I mean, there's really no way to stop this play. So I went ahead and I picked... Uh, 
cover three on defense just to highlight this one play touchdown i put a speed receiver at the slot position uh which you know i mean i already scored uh against cover three with a backup tight end so you don't need your fastest guy there uh but you can see i mean obviously it's, it's important so let's put up we'll put our speed receiver there gonna do the exact same setup streak the y route streak the a route block the, the uh, running back and then motion out feeling that's all you really have to do and then you're gonna see how this y route here um, I mean, it's just super wide open. So, and I could, probably could have put that up a little bit higher than I did there. That was actually a bullet pass because you can see you don't really have to wait too long to make this a, a home run. So I'll go and I'll do that one more time. You don't even have to motion out uh, Thielen, really. I mean, it's better to motion him out, uh, but you can try to run it just like this if you don't want to give away the look because eventually um, you can see, I mean, it's really just the safety who's trailing, uh, but you can see it's a much tighter window. So it's better to motion that guy out uh, but if you have a speed advantage and you want to try, you want to give away your look, um, you can do that. You can run it just like that without motioning them across, uh, motioning the receiver out, and you'll still have success. So here we go. One more time, like I said, not to wait very long. It's really a split second before you're hucking the ball up and you're getting easy one-play touchdowns. The bench switch is very similar. You can do a lot of the same things, as you can tell. Uh, you're really just highlighting the, uh, the corner route anyway, the red route there. Um, I mean, you're pretty much just, that's your cover two beater, uh, your man beater, and it pulls coverage for the cover three one play touchdown. So you can do all that from this formation as well. So one more play that I'm going to show, uh, which is also a cover three one play touchdown, and that's the PA rollout. So we're going to pick that. This is another play that can home run cover three, and it can do it in a very similar way. Uh, if you motion out Thielen here, and then pretty much do the exact same setup with these streaks, um, you're going to see how you're pretty much going to have the exact same effect. And it's basically because of the 15-yard depth that Thielen is running. That cornerback will typically stay with him uh, well but past the point where it really should. And then you can see how it's just so easy to beat these cover threes up the seams. Uh, and that's because, I mean, essentially, it's just all about how the cornerback reacts. And I could probably, I'll try that. I'll, I'll do it one more time and then I'll go to the replay and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but you can see, I mean, he basically is treating it almost like, I mean, he kind of just gets, he just sits in too tight. And then by the time uh, he makes that turn, I mean, it's just, there's just nothing but space over the top. You can also score a one play touchdown against cover four. All you really need to do is put the B route on a smoke screen, uh, put the A route on a comeback, and then put the Y route on an out route and then smart route them. Uh, I would say, you know, block the running back one more time. The hardest part of this uh, is if you don't have a quarterback with really good throw power, you're going to have a hard time getting through this window. But you can see there's definitely an easy window there. So that's something that you could easily do. I also find you probably need as much running space as possible. Um, so I think you pretty much need to be to the open side of the field. I don't think you can really run this too successfully. Uh, maybe you can get about midway, you know, in between the, uh, the hash marks. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, you really need as much... Uh, running room as possible for the receiver. So I'm going to do this one more time. Um, like I said, real simple setup. Uh, and this play can really, you can home run a lot of different things. So right here, you can see that cornerback just doesn't get back. You can see right there, I mean, it's a tight window throw by the time he gets across the field. So like I said, you definitely need more space. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to, you know, any anywhere close to one of the hash marks, just run to the open side of the field. So if you're on the other side of the hash marks, you just run to the other side of the field. It's that, it's that simple, really. So one more time, just to show a little consistency. Like I said, the Y route on an out route and smart route. It's also a decent check down uh, for off coverage plays. Uh, but let's go and let's try to hit this home run one more time. So there we go. No real pressure. Like I said, you can see he just gets right past it. And you want to make sure you have your speed guy running all these routes to make it as easy as possible. So we're going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of the Vikings, let me know in the comment section the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching that money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.